Hello everyone, thank you for joining us and I just wanted to talk about uh, truck charging. So I have a, uh, what is this, this is a 2019 F450 uh, and um, I upfitted it with truck charge and this is how I did it. I've got the uh, Anderson connector, two gauge wire, runs the ground is back here. Okay, it runs all the way along the bottom. Comes up into the engine compartment. Straps off. And then up here, we come in here. And then right here, we have a 100 amp circuit breaker, which we leave open, unless he's gonna do the truck charging. And then it comes over and then connects to the uh, to the battery, which in turn connects to the, the whole system, alternators and all that stuff. So, um, but that's on this side. So it's definitely fused. You have to fuse anything that comes off of the power system. Either fuse it, circuit breaker, something. You can't just run a wire from here, go on to other things. All right, so there's that. And then, like I said, the, the part on the back. And then, um, So I made on the RV side, I made this part the same length as the, uh, good morning Shelby. This is their beagle, she's a sweetheart. Her nose gets her into trouble pretty regularly though, but she's a little sweetheart. So, but on the RV side of things, lovely solar weather we've got here. Cloudy, raining. Okay, so on the RV side of things is this part, which was fished. Let's turn this on, maybe this will help. So this was fished under the skin. There was already a gap there, so we just said, you know, hey, let's go with it. Um, there is a, a header beam all the way across here, so trying to run new wiring from this from the fifth wheel side under the bed this direction is nearly impossible however there was a ripple uh anyhow comes down and we've got this side which plugs in to the truck then that part runs all the way back and i don't have it completely hooked up on the inside yet but it'll come here to a live bin. And then uh, I also have the um, alternate part from the uh, 712 connected on so he can monitor even if the truck charging is not being utilized, if he plugged it in, the battery voltage will, his truck battery voltage will come to here. So, in short, he could monitor the uh, truck and uh, RV at the same time off of the app. So, um, but if you have lithium batteries and you want to do something like this, you definitely have to have a live bim. Um, you can read about it. It um, turns on for 20 minutes, charges, turns off uh, for, I don't remember the length of time, I think it's 15 minutes. And then um, uh, it allows everything to cool down, like the alternator or whatever, because because of the draw. And then it turns back on, and it does cycles. And it also is monitoring the voltage. If the voltages hit certain points, it'll shut off. If the voltages hit uh, certain high points, it'll shut off. If the voltages hit certain low points, it'll turn on. So it's a pretty neat little piece of equipment. It's been a lot of work. So. Uh, let me get this wrapped up and then uh, I'll do some more walkthroughs shortly. Okay, so finished product in the bed of the truck. Looks something. Let me turn more light on because this is just not enough. There we go. Looks something like that. Here 
belt to our straps to keep it up out of the way. Whenever he plugs in on his uh, seven way, if he wants to truck charge because his batteries are low while he's driving or just parked, whatever, he can use this. Just back his truck up near the uh, kingpin and then he can just drop it right into the bed. So, so anyhow, that's, uh, that's a wrap. Kirk out.